Hello and welcome to another C Sharp tutorial. So in this video, we're going to go over the while loop and how to use it, how to play with it. So we can go ahead and jump right in. So let's say we'll make a variable here and we'll just call it index and we'll have it equal zero. Okay. Oops. Um, semicolon. All right. So a while loop essentially means that while um, this value, whatever the value is, um, is true, it's going to continue to uh, loop. So while index is less than 10, um, whatever is inside of here will um, happen. So we can say console dot right line. All right. Now we can say something like um, hello um, we can say hello actually you know what instead of saying hello we're just going to say index. All right, so let's go ahead and, oh, wait a minute. If we run this though, index isn't changing. So um, if we ran this right here, this would actually run um, infinitely. There's no way for it to stop. So what we need to do is, like we discussed previously, um, add the increment, incrementing operator. So this way, um, index is now going to be equal one when it runs through and then equal two. It's just going to keep going up. And so this way it'll stop it um, when it gets to 10. So now let's go ahead and run this and see it in action. All right. And there you go. So it ran index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then once it hit 10, it stopped. So that is essentially how a while loop works. So you can do this for, this This loop is very uh, common and it's very useful. So you can essentially do, again, it's, it's very straightforward um, and having it written in um, nice plain English also makes it very helpful. So while um, we could say false while index actually I believe we can just say I will get that later um, while index equals false um, we can go ahead and just console right line index and index equals true all right so it'll essentially say false once and then it'll stop. And there you go. So index is false. So this is again um, a very important concept um, for looping. Uh, the biggest thing here though is that you can actually um, get stuck in this while loop. For instance, if we didn't have um, this index equals true, let's see, this is gonna be kind of a disaster. See, and it just keeps going um, and it won't stop. So we'll go ahead and terminate that. So since there was nothing in here that actually stops the, um, the index, then it would just keep going. So anyways, that's, uh, that's what we have for while loop. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.